back today. I'm back again. I uh, wanted to share with you some new orders that I have, uh, and I kind of wanted to go over some things. Uh, thanks for watching my channel, by the way. Uh, so I am in my autumn attire today in celebration of the spirit of autumn, although it's still really hot here. So things haven't changed a whole lot. What can I say? But I wanted to share with you a couple of orders. And these orders were influenced by Pecantan Beauty and Ivana. Uh, it was the QVC special, um, what do they call it? Today's special value, T-S-V. You know, I hate, I have to remember these things. All these little <laughs> decals and codes and whatever. So I just had this come up on my computer. Anyway, hopefully you didn't see that. Uh, so I'm still hoping for a camera and I'm back in my studio at home so I have my own artist studio it's a loft and so that's where I'm recording today it's a little easier um, so it was fun showing you the gallery and all the goings-on that I do when I'm not videotaping so but it's fun to see you hey doing the duty dance <laughs> I don't know what that is you know doing the shuffle the Dooney Suffle. So I, I'm a Dooney girl. I love all bags, but um, the Today Special I did order, and I ordered as is. Now I've got two boxes because I actually ordered a Today Special value in a leather jacket to go with this bag, and it is the actual woven shopper. That was sort of an um, interesting mix of hits or misses. And I wanted to kind of go over the different handles of Dooney and Burke bags. So I thought I'd kind of focus on that while I do this unboxing. I'm wondering if I can do both. But anyway, that seems to be the kind of issue with this woven uh, leather sat. Well, it's not a satchel. It's a shopper. Uh, because of the handles and where it lies and how it hangs. So I ordered two as is because I wasn't quite trusting it. I'm um, not sure what color I really wanted, so um, I got two different colors you'll see when I unbox. So thanks for joining me again, my subscribers. If you like this video, let me know if it's helpful. I really do this in the spirit of somewhat entertainment, but someone, well, what can I say? Help women shop. So it helps me to watch all of your videos, every one of you. The whole list, it, it's, it helps to see what the what each woman feels about the practicality and the usefulness of the bag. So I love doing it. And I want to shout out to a couple of friends who now know that I have uh, my own channel, and that's Isabella and Marianne. So I had some friends come visit me, and I told them I had this, <laughs> this crazy video series, and uh, they got a kick out of it. <laughs> So some of you that get made fun of by your families or friends, although these friends didn't make fun of me. They thought it was cool. So that I had the chutzpah to get on the internet and share my crazy bag obsession. Yeah. So, uh, but I, like I say, I love design. I love beautiful things. I love bags. Uh, I don't keep them all, just to let you know. I work in a budget. Um, some of these I don't keep, but I do have some over here that are my autumn fall type bags, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me pull this aside. Well, I'll show you now. Um, this is one of my favorite fall bags. This is the Kingston. And I'm showing this one because of the particular handle. And it's a hobo. Now I have um, tape. That's not tape. Um, elastic band over to keep the tassels nice and straight so because the unfortunately the um, leather dries and can these can splay into little flowers so just to keep them straight and neat but this is just I love this in the crimson so this is a bag that I love to wear in the fall and it's a it's a nice big hobo so carries lots of things love the color so that's one of my fall favorites I do have to share with you my next fall favorite. <sighs> See, suede. This is my color. This was the jacket I was looking to blend the suede logo lock from Dunia Burke. 
and I love this bag. It is soft and pliable and works great with my suede. So beautiful fall and I love the trim. So this is also a hobo. My other favorite, favorite bag is, what is this one? Oh, this is what? The magnificent leather that you get, uh, Florentine leather bag. Ah, oh, oh, drawstring. It's not really a drawstring, but it's the Buckley bag. And it has so much beautiful hardware on this game. I love this bag. It has a brass logo on it. But I use it like a shopper, not just, you know, I let it just, just spread all the way out. This is my other bag. So I just go like that. And sometimes the leather's so stiff, sometimes it'll stick a little till it really softens. But I just use this like a freaking shopper. I'll take this out. You know, I use towels inside my bags and I guess that's not recommended. It's better to use those air puff plastic things inside your bags because then it doesn't have any odor. You have to be careful that your towels are pristine. My towels are pristine so it hasn't uh, created that problem plus I live in a very dry area so I don't have a problem with humidity and smell and all that stuff. So this has, this is a satchel and this has the shoulder as well as the handles. So you get the both best of both worlds with this one. Um, and then I got the, i got to take these off. Just a habit. Sometimes I go out the door wearing the rubber bands on my tassels. Not a good idea. Really good idea to take your tassels and take the rubber bands off. Yeah, I recommend that. <laughs> so, good job. <laughs> Trying to remember all these little details. So, there's my beautiful, and then it just cinches up so nicely. And I love that green. It's just up with the Timor Brown. I'm going to adjust my screen here because I want it to kind of tilt down a little bit more. There we go. So my table, there we go. So you can see the bag, and I don't have to hold it all the time. I can just put it on the table. But this is just such a fun bag, and it is softening up. You can cinch this baby up, it becomes smaller, or you can have this big old bag, whoo, and turn it into a shopper. And you know what? It works to do that. It really does. This thing's starting to drop down respectfully, and um, so I'll wear it. And it's a big bag. It's heavy. I don't recommend this for women who don't want a heavy bag. But you see how the handles flop down? This is the distinction to the bag I'm about to show you. It, the handles don't flop down. So uh, I want to show you the difference. And then you've got this English saddle version shoulder strap. So, And I love this bag. It's heavy, but I don't carry a lot in my bags, really. If I do, I wear a lighter bag. So, But I love that. Is, this is the, um, oh, it's not forest green. What's the name of this green? They changed now. They're, they're selling these in sage green, and this is not the sage green. This is their traditional green. Um, I call it the country club green. So it's not forest. Oh, you guys help me. What is the green? I'll figure it out in a minute. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to show. This bag. This I wore during the summer. Uh, I just finished wearing it, and this is the satchel weave, embossed weave, basket weave bag in natural, and I loved it. Um, some people feel it looks like plastic. I don't, even in this natural, but um, we're going to try some other colors. I did get an as-is. Okay. I know it's backwards. In the... Was it Bordeaux in this? Beautiful. Now, you know, it does shine a little bit, but I notice even on this one, the shine is getting more muted as I wear it. When it's just comes, it's really stiff and all that, but actually this is kind of relaxed just a bit without losing its shape. And I was surprised. You have to give leather a shot. Now, these handles drop down. 
these handles do not drop down in the same way to the side, but they do relax. You can see that. That's how it came. This was as is. I got really lucky. It was in great shape. And here is a similar strap to this, I think it's called Perry Satchel. See, two different styles. Satchel, and this is Shopper. So this is east-west, north-south. Now I thought that maybe this would bother me because of the straps not going down, but I changed my mind. One of the advantages to having this satchel, it's not satchel, the shopper. Oop, what happened? Am I still going? Oh, I'm still going. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think this got on my clicker. So I have to be careful with that. So this came in perfect, super perfect shape. Okay, here we go. This came with it. This came with it, as well as the as is little brochure, which means you take a risk and the key fob came with it. So I was lucky. I got everything in great order in beautiful shape. Um, and I like this for my i6 phone. This will work great with that because I could use it. This is beautiful. I thought that it would bother me having, and I know a lot of women don't like these handles sticking up under the arm. But you know what? It's funny. They're so soft that they don't bug me, actually. So, I was pleased. I love the logo. Beautiful, classic shape, and I love the slimness of the profile. This one is not as slim. See the difference? More square, a little more bulky in terms of left to right. So this is tall and slim, and this is shorter and wider. And that's how you get the space in there. But I love this bag. And one of the things is, even though this flips down, I still find myself having to grab the bag like this, you know? Or you grab it from here. This bag, which I'm starting to appreciate, just like the Cantan Beauty had mentioned, there's something nice about having the handles available. So you just go like that. Here, you kind of have to take one handle, or when you set it down, let me put this over here. When you put it down, okay, you just cross them over, and that kind of keeps them standing up. That's a way to deal with it. But sometimes you're not thinking, you've got, you're in a hurry, right? And you need to get going. So this one, this is handy. You go like this, and you just go, whoop, there they are. Now, the other brilliant part, now maybe they save money by not having the hardware. You know, there is more hardware. I think this bag's a little more expensive. There is more hardware, but this absolutely will become butter. You know, where it's just, you know, limp in there, and I think as time goes on, but a lot of women are getting them where they're straight up, and they're like, hey, this doesn't make sense. I mean, you've got this bag, which goes under your arm and it's getting stuck under there. See that? Well, the Cantan Beauty came up with a beautiful solution to that. But even if you don't, it's soft. And I find that it doesn't bug me. And I, maybe I'm just not particular. Um, because the bag is nice and light and it's just a sleek look. I just think it's a beautiful profile. Um, so, this is what the Cantan Beauty, and I'm going to put her and Ivana did a really nice review on these bags. So I'm not going to go through the specifics either, but I am showing the differences in handles. So there is a woven that has drop handles for you ladies who prefer that. But this one is deep. You can put files and things in there. But I it doesn't bother me. I find that the pockets where they place them in here are higher up. So you're not having to go way down to the pockets. So they designed it where you can reach the pockets. Uh, let me put it, I'm trying to see how to show it. 
higher up on the wall of the bag. So you're not going way down to reach those pockets. But you do go way down if you have your wallet in there. And then if you have an organizer, it might not be wide enough. Like this one's wide enough for an organizer to get into. If you have an organizer, this might be a better choice. Now it doesn't come in this color, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, maybe it will next year. You know how Dooney and Burke is. So um, uh, Yvonne, the Cantan Beauty, you just tuck it in, lock it in, there you go. And then you don't have anything bugging you. When I received this bag, it was in beautiful shape. The only thing I noticed, huh, interestingly, was that somebody had adjusted the strap. Because you can see the fingernails here from pulling, trying to get these really difficult straps fixed, right? So these straps were moved. They were usually in the middle, and, they, and whoever had this made it longer, and I guess it just wasn't long enough. Now this is plenty long for me. I have a coat on, and I love where it is. I can grab it, boom, right, right here. And I just think that's so pretty. So I got the Bordeaux, but I also ordered it in the T. Morrow Brown. So let's try that one. I'm gonna see what condition that's in. Whichever condition fit bag, I'm keeping it. Because so I do love the Bordeaux. Um, beautiful with this gorgeous sheet, very elegant. Now the light's hitting it rather directly. So it's shining, but it doesn't have all that much shine when you're just walking around. It's, um, but that's what makes it look to some women, plasticky. Um, structured bags are really hip right now. They're, they're, you know, you have all kinds of sheen, but this is definitely leather, and I've already had some compliments on this. So I just wanted to show this and this way. And then with this, okay, here we go. As a satchel. Beautiful. What a rich color, right? And when you tilt it, it just, but I get, as I said, I've had so many compliments on this. And I do think the darker colors probably look less plasticky than the lighter color, perhaps. But boy, I wore this a lot. I love the usefulness of this bag. Um, but does this bother me? It, it bothered a lot of women, and I think that's why this one got returned, is this bugs women. But I find even collapsing over, because this is just gonna, these straps are gonna get so limp. Um, you just put it under here and I don't notice it. It's not like, uh, it's jamming up there. Now, if you're somebody who has a lot more going on in the upper part of your body, maybe you're fully breasted and things like that, you have more that you're carrying, it might be a little, it could be in the way of, of your, of your gifts. So anyway, <laughs> so it just depends on where it hangs and for some women, it wasn't enough of a drop here. Uh, wasn't really a problem for me, but it's just so individual. Okay, so we're gonna open this box. Now I ordered two things. I don't know what is in what box. So I'm gonna put this here. So, because one is a leather jacket to go with the T. Morrow Brown. So I'm just gonna rip this open and see what is this. Now this is the condition it came in. And smashed in. You know, I have to wait. Oh my God. I gotta wait and wait and wait. You women that live in other parts of the country, you know, you're like, yeah, we got the bag. I have to wait and wait and wait and wait. It takes forever. It's like I might as well just live another life, resurrect, and then go out the door and see if there's any other season change by the time I get out there. So it's hysterical. So I'm like, when it comes, it's almost like a miracle even arrived in one piece. So here is, okay, so this is the, voila. There we go. This is not, or this is, this is not about a jacket today, but that's what that one is. I had to open it and see, because that came on the same day as this one. So this must be the bag. So cross your fingers. The Bordeaux came perfectly, except for a few scrapes from fingernails trying to <laughs> adjust that strap. So I could just imagine that dear woman or guy, wherever they were, trying this bag. Because I can almost 
to see a guy going for this bag. Um, it's very clean line, very straight line. So I love the Team Moral Brown that um, Ivana and um, Pecantan Beauty ordered, but I wanted to wait for as is. So we're going to see <laughs> how did I do on this one. And I have a feeling the as is on these are going to be in pretty good shape because for the most part, people either loved them or just didn't like it because of these handles. They felt it was cheap. Um, I don't feel that. Once you get the bag, there's something really luminous and beautiful about it. And it doesn't bother me, but um, everybody's lifestyle is different and what you're willing to cope with. But I do like the idea of taking this bag, right, and just grabbing the handles. I, I like that. The other ones I have to kind of grab around. And even though the handles get out of the way when using as a shoulder bag, those handles are going to flop down like butter in a short amount of time. In fact, they'll be so floppy you've got to find them. So I suppose that was... So this one's uh, taped on here pretty good. Now I'm going to explore this because I don't know what shape. This may be in better shape than this one was. Um, I can tell you it is already because the handles still have the plastic on them. So this is in beautiful shape. Oh my. You know what? Yvonne, Pecan, you ladies of taste. This color, it gets you. OMG. I think this is going to be the one. I love the red one too. It's pretty. They're both pretty. Why do I do this to myself? Oh my goodness. Okay, so all plastic. Great shape. This didn't even have the tags on it. Um, now this may have some things missing inside, so we'll see. Because usually, oh no, here it is. Oh my, oh my. You know, you feel like it's Christmas, especially when it goes across the US. Okay, so I got that. Now let's see if the rest of the info, so it looks like somebody just got it and turned, everything's in here, the card. Wow, I got lucky. Oh, oh, oh. This is in beautiful shape. Okay, nobody's adjusted this handle. Can you see here? It's in the middle. Yep, this one. It's so cute. Somebody adjusted it to its bottom. I mean, to the lower, lowest level because they wanted it longer. But it still came beautifully. There was a little tiny dent in it, but it just popped right out. Okay, I'm going to ask you women out there in video land. I'm going to move this back because I don't want direct light on it because it's not as, you know, it's just like that. Ah. So, which one do you think I uh, keep? I don't know. Now, with the outfit I'm wearing, I think the T. Marl Brown is, is working. Um, I actually do have a burgundy suede jacket, so... That would look great with that too. But this is a vibrant, a little more vibrant red. It's got a little berry in it. I wouldn't, it's, it's, and it's got the highs and lows. It's very rich. But, uh, I think I should have trusted just what those two ladies had suggested, save myself. Buying two, gosh, are you really saving a lot of money because I'm going to ship this back. So it's what, 15 bucks or something to return it? So you add that to this bag. I guess it's still less, I mean, it's still a good deal since everything is done. And so I guess it would be about eh, $250, $245 um, instead of $230. So anyway, but it's okay. Um, save a little bit. And it was on, uh, I think there was easy pay on this too. Beautiful. Love the logo. Love the high and low. This is rich. Ooh. I know it's hard to see, you know, it just looks like it's going to be plasticky, but you get it in the right light, it's really not. So I'm going to pull this aside. This Timaro brown is to die for. Mm. It, I'm liking that. But you know, you ladies let me know, because I'm not going to pass judgment, and I'll let you know in my next video what I decided. So this... You see how the handles are really sticking up on this because this wasn't used at all. This was used gently. A woman who, who returned this did a beautiful job of returning it. 
So no complaints there. Okay. And I'm keeping this, let's see, down here because I'm going to make sure I really want the bag. Beautiful. Oh, gosh. Hey, I think I scored. What do you think? But I don't want to go on too long. You know, 25 minutes on a video is a long freaking time. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my comparison between these bags. Handle sticking up, but they relax down. You can see this on the other bag. This one drops, but how do you grab it when you're in the car? So those are the things to assess. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.